we are live now. Yes, we are live oh, cool. now. Hi. Okay, now we're on YouTube, YouTube, right? Yes, we are. We are live now. Hi. Our Hi, audience. guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Naharda, na maana, Mr. Michael, me and Mr. Ray. Yes, we are going to talk today in English. So, uh, hi, our audience uh, in the Meta Dental Coast. It's our honor to host Mr. Michael from Ukraine, uh, our great uh, lab instructor. So, let's enjoy our lecture today. Uh, good night, Mr. Michael. Good night, Mr. Michael. Are you hearing me? Ah, good night. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just we have a bit, I have a bit of poor connection. I have a okay. bit, you know, lazy English, so I do apologize for that. If you don't understand no, something, no, no, just oh. ask me. Okay, okay. And we will see the questions at the end of the lecture. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, is that okay? Probably, but I would like to interact with people, you know, so maybe okay. if you send me the link on my phone. Yes, form. just now I will think that in a minute. Thank you so, so much. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, I don't see now you, but could you tell me how many people now watching us? It's about 40. 40, okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> and then we, uh, we, 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 we will wait them together, some audience. Okay, okay so while we're waiting, uh, the question of the day, of the night, what is the slide much better, this one which you see now, or this one? And you should type it in comments, yeah, if we have some comments there. Yeah, please. You can and type in the comments. Okay, how are you doing, Michael? Hey, Mohammed. I'm good. Well, I'm doing well. Thank you so much. And how are you? I hope you're okay. Uh, guys, if you... Um, if you're a dentist, please uh, put one plus in the comments. And if you are a dental technician, well, actually, there is dental technicians now, or no? Yeah. Yeah. On the dentist? Yes. Okay, so the lecture, well, it's lecture actually for dentists and dental technicians, so I hope you will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. And uh, I will ask you something during the lecture. So if you be kind, please answer me. If no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so can I start or we will wait like around five minutes? Okay, five minutes. When, when will you start? We will start in five minutes. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Now let's talk. Uh, Someone know me? I was in Egypt like two years ago. Yeah, I think it was two years ago. And well, it was such nice and lovely people there. And I really yeah, enjoyed it. It was, it, it, you know, it was like really one of the most and memorable in my life. Thank so you. Thank you. I hope we will have today together the same great time. Uh, I will try to maximize the information which I give you. Um, something I could just forget. Something I would think like maybe it's not important. So if you think that something is important, please type something in comments. Okay. We will receive in question. The yeah, after the translation, um, we will have some special topic, as Dr. Omnia tell me. Mm -hmm. okay. What is the special thing that you loved in Egypt? Well, people, first of all, people. Uh, I hate cars there. <laughs> it's like... Mm -hmm. Jesus. Very crowd, they're, they're crowding, and traffic jam is very easy. It's very yeah, crazy. Traffic. 
traffic is it was like how people drive the car there it's like there is no rules <laughs> yeah but the rest no rules. <laughs> yeah so I, I i thought you know that maybe in ukraine the um not good situation but in egypt it's bad <laughs> it means worse very proud very yeah, but, um, the special things was people and the was most important part is people yeah. it's always people and in egypt in cairo it was the most lovely people i ever saw during my trips as i said it's Thank like you. from the bottom of my heart don't break the law <laughs> it's bad the law okay yeah. the law makes the breaks so. huh yeah right true 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 okay, okay. so dr omnia tell me um, um which category uh, in in dentistry yeah what what are you doing in dentistry like surgeon i'm and... interested in a pediatric mainly okay with a kid yes nice I'm mainly dealing with a with a kid in my clinic yeah. Okay, that's nice. I see we uh, we have some uh, like around ten seconds. Uh, well, I'm I see myself in the past like ten seconds ago. That's normal, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Now we develop the time machine. Congratulations. Okay, Comrades. we're back here in present. It's it's very very important the past and the, in the past it is in the past it's, <laughs> yeah that's it's nice. okay let's begin okay it's okay to begin now well okay yeah we could um, begin and i wanted to start so the lecture will be like two parts the first part is uh, well let's say from the beginning uh today we are talking about the communication between dental office and dental laboratory and i think this is the most um, not problematic part but the part which we lose in some small details ways or something like that and we're gonna talk about two important things between this communication the first one is the shade taking and the okay. second one is probably occlusion yeah, I think yeah. most of us have uh, questions. Well, I have still questions with the occlusions and with the colors as well, but we're going to share, you know, our knowledges because I'm here and to show you some of my uh, slides, pictures and blah, 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 talking about something. It doesn't mean that I know more than you. No, I just know something I'm sharing with you and I hope to have some feedback. Yeah, like with questions, suggestions and blah, blah, you know. So, we start from the shade taking. I think okay. that, yeah, I think that all of us have this, um, you know, temptating feeling when we have the job and patient came, with, came to our dental office or dental laboratory with a situation like this on the slide. So, one or two central, two single centrals. Yeah, and the first feeling about this, uh, these cases yeah it's like heart beating yeah it's grows 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 and well let's say we have this patient we give to our technician or we take from dental office this case we did it and we put it into the mouse and it looks great right maybe not that great but it looks okay for us and we feel ourselves what happened next we feel ourselves like a gods yeah, we can do anything, everything, and blah, blah, blah. But the next time, with the next patient, we could have kind of this situation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight temps. <laughs> yeah, like PFM or Zirconia or Emax, whatever. Yeah, and uh, why it happens, actually? Why? Why one time we did our crown like in a good way and the second time it completely sucks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I can. Yeah. 
So there is many reasons of that, but we will focus on the most important things. The first thing is just ask yourselves what, your, what you see on the screen. So it's a six circles with the different colors, but here, they are the same or no? Well, if you think that they are the same, yeah, you're right. If you think that they are different, you're wrong. But why it happens? From the left, we see one color. From the right, we see another color. Why it happens? Sorry, I see myself in the past and there is uh, old, <laughs> old pictures. So it's confusing sometimes. Okay, the next question is uh, just read the second, the second line. What is uh, written there? It's like, can you read this, right? And the second is, what are you reading now? And uh, the question, again, the question, um, how can you read this? Because there is like 30% of letters are missing. So what happens in your brain? Uh, the thing which is happening in your brain is like your brain goes to the library, to his own library open the folders and start reading, yeah? So he mm, look what was in the past and it show what, how it will be now, replace, yeah? So something like that. And the same picture happened when you try to understand what is the color patient have, like A1 or A2 or A3. And sometimes it's like, okay, it's A1 and half, right? Well, but it's, doesn't work like that because now a nurse almost 8 billion people. Can you imagine? And the colors in the world of the teas is 8 billion. And we have only 16 or 32 in the best case, which is can't work, right? So on this picture, uh, we have like perfect, perfect uh, photo from the dentist. It's like one on a billion photos. And uh, the question is, which color we should choose for this central, like 11 stools for the central. Let's say we took A1. OK, let's see, we take A1. So I just cut it from the bottom and put it um, to the top, up, top, whatever. And as you can see, it's quite close, yeah? And if you want, you can, well, you can sell it to the patient, yeah? If you ask your, you know, cleaning staff or nurse or someone else, and they will, you know, came to the patient and would say, yeah, that's good, that's great. But what's gonna happen in the next picture? So what happens now? Patient just close his mouth and we just remove the, uh, shape guide and we make a photo so it likes one and a half seconds passed nothing changed and now I put the uh, shape color from the last picture and just translate it to here and as you can see the same A1 looks different why well because of lightning and many many other things but the most important things is we have different light every time so dr omnia i see there is 10 people now watching us right yes well, at the 12 yeah okay. i'm sharing the live okay now if there is some dental technician if there is some dental technician just put some plus in the comments that i would know it because there is some you know dental technician stuff and i would you know focused on it a bit Mr. Michael, be all low fee I dental technician. Uh, you're eating hot plus why had fell comment. Okay, so Dr. Omnia, you translate, yeah? Yes, A bit. yes, you, you're helping us with the translation. Okay, that's great. That is a really big job. Okay, let's move on. Okay. And now, so the, the problem with the shape guide is that we, there is a lot of um, intuition and intuition is good, but it's not what we want. Yeah, we want to be 
sure in our result yeah and know to like okay maybe it's a one or a two or blah 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 and we put these photos to our dental technician and he see okay it's not a a one and a half it's like a two or maybe a two and a half at the end of the day we get like something not really similar to our crown or to, to our restoration right right and the problem the biggest problem as i said before is the lightning and how to solve this problem with light because in your dental office you have a beautiful and expensive lamps yeah or maybe um, the chair is close to window to the sun yeah and you make a beautiful photo and after that dental technician in the basement or somewhere else with a completely different lighting yeah see on the shape guide and see completely other things if you see if you know this kind of situation please type something in the comments that i would know that you hear me and you are here okay please during I'm drink my water. Okay, so there is a um, tools named a gray card, and this gray card was developed by these three genius people: Sasha Hain, Javier Tapia, and Panas Baz. They create this because. Um, well, they wanted to solve this problem, yeah, with a prediction, with the intuition, yeah, to remove maximum intuition and to put maximum predictability. And what does this card, gray card? Um, it's stabilized, standardized, standardized the photo from the mouse and the photo on the model. So on the photo on the model, so the photo of your restoration, you have completely the same lightning as well as you have in the mouse. And no matter where are you, in the space, in a basement, in a um, roof, the light will be the same completely on the photo after some calibration. Hmm? And if some of you uh, use this system before, probably you have some troubles with it. And uh, working like around four, or maybe five years with this system, I faced with a problem when we get the picture from the dentist. This is the most easiest part for the dentist to take a picture of the teeth with a card. The rest is on the dental technician. And well, for dental technicians, it's a bit more complicated than for the dentist. But still, when we got from the dentist the wrong picture, it's messed up with the end result and how it works means how it doesn't work we have a picture on the screen with the lightning yeah it's overexposed like with the contrast and blah 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 what is the problem with these pictures and many pictures from the dentist come like that we have on a gray card which should be gray some light some orange some blue green stuff and blah blah because it's not maybe clean maybe some something else and blah blah that's how it should be and why is the problem it described here so when we standardize uh, our pictures our photo we're using some tool from let's say lightroom so pipette to find this white balance or if we are using some uh, special programs like ELA prime uh, there if we you know like came into the pixels world we see this kind of situation. So from the left part is a completely gray part, so which is good. And from the right part, we see from our eyes, like it's all also gray, but in the pixel world, it's like that, it's colorful. And this is what our pipette in Lightroom show us. So let's say from the left side, we determine the color of the tools like A1, and from the wrong picture, we determine like A3. And the final result will be also a three, but in the mouse we should get a one, and this is a problem which we had from the first, very first picture. Sorry, my mouse completely dry. Is that a white balance checker? Uh, yeah, it's some kind of checker. It's a white balance card. 
So you are completely right, uh, Mr. Ahmed. Mm, yeah, that's it. And uh, because of this problem, now um, the team of Sasha Hein they produced the new gray card. It's with a uh, you, you see the small hexagons on the left and on the right corners of this card. So when you take a photo and you see that these hexagons are different, so this is wrong picture. But if you see that they are the same, you're good. Take the picture and give it to your dental technician. That's easy to do. And to work with this system, it costs nothing. You should have your DSLR camera, which all, you know, I don't know, like all probably dental office have in Egypt. Yes? Everyone have DSLR camera yes. in their office? No, I think no. Not everyone has a camera in their office. I think I many people. It's, you know, in nowadays it and goes not that many money, I guess. Yeah, but whatever. They maybe so, use uh, the mobile camera. Oh, yeah, 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 the mobile camera. Yeah, that well, any, actually... Any, any problem with the mobile camera? Okay, so um, <laughs> you speak about mobile camera, not me. Um, the e uh like I hope after a few months, uh, will yeah. launch the version for mobiles. So you have this only card, the gray card, the new one, and you take a picture with your just phone, like iPhone, you have in your pocket, and it's enough. Now it's in mm. better version. With a now camera? It's in better version. Yeah, so you don't need to have a camera, but in after yeah. like two or three months, yeah, you just should have your phone and this gray yeah. card. That's all. Yeah. You just make yes. a photo with a gray card, with a photo, yeah. and you send it to your dental technician. And yeah. you done with the shade taking. Well, it's it's easy actually. Yeah, if we're talking about this in a brief, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it works like that. Yeah. So, do you have any picture, uh, any question about that? Maybe you have any pictures <laughs> as well. Any question on this topic? And we move on to the other topic. How it works. Any question on the topic that we talked about? Or if we continue? If you have any questions, you can write in the comments and Mr. Michael will read them. Okay, okay, you can go on, okay. I'm not Mr. Yeah, Mr. Okay. is my cousin. I'm just okay. Michael. <laughs> okay, Michael, you can go on. Okay, cool. So let's go to the practice. And we have a our patient, Ivan. Ivan. Call it as you used to be. And he have a problem, like it's obviously, yeah, it's this picture describe itself. We decide to make uh, two centrals. Mm. Doctor make a prep. So the right central is uh, like normal with the margin, and the left central is like BOPT technique. Um, uh, as I understand, it was enveloped by Stefano Conti. He's an amazing dentist. Unfortunately, I don't know where he's live, but if you will have a chance to attend his lecture, it's like strongly recommended. For this type of cases, the BOPT technique, when you make a prep, like too much deep under the gingiva, is just incredible. So we took a picture, dentist give us a picture with a gray card, with the standard one, with the old one. And what we are doing here, first step, is individual wax model. You can use any plastic or whatever you want. Uh, the wax is easier because it's cheap, it's beautiful, it's easy to work, and it's fast. Uh, ask your dental technician to strongly recommend it to use this model. Not on, uh, okay, we will uh, touch this topic a bit later. Now, we have this individual model, we create our copings. 
what we are doing next, we should have, have to make a digital try-in of our copings, as you can see on the screen. So these two copings, put it on the individual VAX model, make a photo with a gray card in your lab. After that, put it in the keynote or, I don't know, PowerPoint, whatever, and just crop as it is and put one picture on the second picture. But how to understand if the lightning is the same? So how to understand that they two, these two copings will look the same in the mouse? Easy. You see the gray cards. So the gray cards on the bottom and the gray card on the top of these two copings, they are the same or difference is not visible. So which means it will be the same in the mouse. That means that two pictures calibrated in the same way. I hope that's understandable. The second things which we have to do is to put some liquid inside our coppings because now we make a try-in on a dry feed. Yeah, and uh, it doesn't show the color of the stump. And when we put some liquid into the crowns, we see the truly color, how it will be looks with the saliva or cement and so on, so on, so on. And we can see that the right coppings look more, much more yellow, maybe not much more, but a bit more yellowish than the right one, uh, left one, sorry. And we should do like staining or whatever technique you use. We did this staining with uh, some wash layer and again the digital train. Now it looks a bit the same and we could start to make our build up. Or if you are using uh, like full contour, which is, uh, you can use like staining of your full contour and make again and again and again this digital train. There is no problem to do this. After that, we did our build up again, digital train to look how it looks like after firing some staining photo and done this is what we get on the digital train at the end of the result and now it's ready to deliver to the clinic to our patient and that's how it looks in the patient mouse so uh, yeah probably they're a bit lighter than the laterals and canines but it looks completely good Okay, so the patient love it. We did it from the first time without any trains, without any like extra invitation of the patient to the dental office or to the laboratory and blah, 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 blah. Just follow this simple protocol. Mm -hmm. And a small video of the buildup. This is the beauty of the hand work handmade yeah probably mm -hmm. like that it's beautiful there is a soul there is a heart inside and the mm -hmm. optical in the mouse it looks just great it's not super perfect because well this is a dead material right but it's much 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 better than the full staining and no matter which stains you're using there is a optic yeah there is a physic and you cannot beat it right so like full contour in our lab we're using like on the posteriors only i hope you're using as well or if you are just using it in the fronties no problem if it works with you it works yeah and this is without any filters like a real situation to two centrals, as you can see, there is no difference. It means maybe there is a difference, but it's not that much as it could be. And this is a situation before and after. After crowns, after some cleanings, probably there was some composites, maybe, you know. That's how it looks with a simple, simple mm. approach and simple Simple, simple, simple. Uh, Dr. Omnia, could you tell me yeah. if we have some uh, timing?
like time? I should. Yeah, break? Mm -hmm. Like a break? I mean, how, how much time I have? No, no, no. Okay, we have oh, uh, half an hour. Have ha half an hour. Half an hour. Okay. Uh, remaining uh, time? You asking about remaining time? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like means I know that you have like uh, ten thirty p.m. Yeah, and uh, many people uh, came from their job, their jobs, their tired. So I don't want to be make it boring. No, 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 at, at, uh, no, at all, at all, no, no, you can, okay. you can go. So if just something just stop me, tell me, just shut up. Okay, okay, exactly. is there any question or anything, I will, I will tell you. Yeah, okay, cool. So this case was done with Dr. Dima Kavachuk, he's my dentist, his work, we work with him. And let's go to occlusion, just a bit. It's, you know, it's, it's about our job, as I said before, it's about predictability. Yeah, we don't want to do some, you know, to make our crowns again and again and again, to lose our money, to lose our time, to lose our respect in the patient eyes. Yeah, we want to make it as fast, as beautiful as we can. And it's all about our job, it's about predictability. And how we can achieve this predictability. Now we are talking about with you about uh, shade taking, which is quite easy, but you should spend some time at the beginning, as with everything else, actually. Yeah, to how to say it, um, to master, to master it. Yeah. And now let's talk about the complex patient, like uh, full mouth. Yeah, upper and lower. We start with our patient named Zurab. And we start with occlusion. Uh, let's talk if we have not a uh, total case, like not full mouse case. We have some only posteriors, let's say, yeah, or just front teeth or something like that. When you make an impression, by the way, um, could you please tell me uh, in Egypt how it's how, how dentists work with the intraoral scanners more, or maybe still it's with uh, impressions like traditional way, analog or digitally? How you work now? Impression. We we take an impression. Mm -hmm. Then we we take a wax toy to check the occlusion. Okay. Okay. Nice. Just nice. nice. Uh, the traditional way. Yes, the traditional way. Okay, I see. Well, in our lab, in our city, in our country, it's like maybe 50-50, like. 50 uh, analog, 50 digital, and there is no like you know bad or the, the minority who uh, work in uh, in a digital uh, with a digital impression or uh -huh. minority, not all the doctor. It's not common here. It would yeah, work usually in a traditional way taking impression. I see. I see. Okay. So mm, when you mm, take an impression. Let's say you are the most perfect doctor, almost like a god in yeah. the world. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you take your impression. It's like, still, it cannot be 100 the same impression as it's from the, in the mouth, right? Yes, uh, yes. Because of many things. Totally agree with you, yeah. It's yeah. because of silicon, right? It has some... Uh, change in the dimension, change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And let's say your dental technician is the best in the world, but still he pures this impression with a gypsum. And gypsum yeah. is the same as a silicone. It has yeah. some, then, how you say it? Dimension like, change. Dimension change, change in a dimension. Probably. I love English. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a nice word. Yeah. Strong. Mm, so uh, the most dental technicians, well, I, was like two or three maybe maybe two years ago it's like we pure with the gypsum this impression and we start to work with it but now and this is a common sense uh, first of all we should remove this first contact we should remove the first contact to remove this not the first contact we should remove this um mistakes from the impression and from the yeah. gypsum how we do it? So here is some small video. First of all, we should 
flats. Just listen. Uh, no. Okay, there is no video. I'm sorry. It should be the video. Why is that? Okay, so I will try to describe what is what's in this video. Okay, it's sinking. It's sinking. I apologize for that. Do not know why it's like that. So the main idea, when you get your models in your mm -hmm. articulator system, uh, first of all, we do like clats, 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 just to hear on the voice that it's like a wooden, wood, wood, like, you know, trees. Void? Like, you mean the void? Yeah, the, the, the sound, the sound the of these models is like... After that, we take uh, occlusion yeah. paper and we do it with occlusion paper. And when we, yeah. when we see the strong, you know, contacts from this occlusion paper, we just take a bull and just slightly remove this. Grinding and the... Grinding, okay. grinding the gypsum, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, so we do it like around five minutes, like, you know, like an autist or something like that. Like glass, glass, glass. Uh, remove, 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 and after that we get like you know the sound of this occlusion after this manipulation is like ceramic. Tin, 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 tin. <laughs> so yeah. it's in these videos, but unfortunately they didn't work. But the most important part that the bite goes down, right? Okay, it's good deeper. So it's yeah, not so it's the good, same yeah, with yeah, the reality. It's deeper around like 0 0.5 0 0.6 yeah. millimeters no yeah, yeah. not millimeters no i'm lying many, uh, microns, many is, 50 yeah. 50 60 millimeter uh, microns so it's like less than 0 0.1 but still this is you know this 0 0.5 0 it's point not the real occlusion it's not the moment yeah. the real occlusion whatever yeah on these pictures uh from the left side it's a model before this occlusion uh, manipulation and adjusting, from the right okay. side adjusting thank you yeah. so much and from the right side this is after and as yeah. you can see there is added like six or five more strong contacts which we don't yeah. have before the adjustments and yeah. this will influence on our final restoration so when your dental technician made these beautiful crowns and on, in his hands, in his articulator, the occlusion is perfect. But after that, you remove it to the mouse. And what you see, somewhere it's higher, be, somewhere. Uh, yeah, high points. And it's yeah, the, high, the high points. Oh, thank you so much. Your English is perfect. No way. Uh, yeah. Okay. It is, it is. Um, well, this is a basic thing when we have not like full mouse, but some, you know, small, like only posteriors or anteriors. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. But we have a full case. What to do when we have a full case? Let's say uh, I have a really, really, really one of the best dentists I know, and uh, he made the perfect impression. He make a perfect occlusion. We works with the uh, Gerber system. It's Professor Gerber, which was living in, I guess, Switzerland. And he enveloped this system. Uh, how it works? There is a, I don't know how to translate it in English, so I would try to explain you on my, you know, fingers. Um, you do like plate, metal plate on the lower jaw. On the upper jaw, you do like pin. And yeah. you check the gothic arrow. Yeah, this will, I think, on English it, it names yeah, 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 yeah. the gothic arrow. And patient, uh, yeah, 
Dude is getting uh, arrow. Dentist take an axiography. I hope that in English it's called axiography. <laughs> and, and he just put some foot art, yeah, material for bites, and give it to me. And he do it like perfectly. In this time, I made it um, make an occlusion, yeah, and I get this situation which you see now on your screen. And I have some dots, yeah. Do this bite or don't do this bite. So basically, I have to check it in some way. How we check it means what should I check? I should check if the bite is correct. Yeah, even if I know that the dentist is good, the best one, whatever, I should check it. What we do? We ask from our dentist to send us the temps, yeah, which uh, patient in, have in the mouth, and he have some comfort with his temps. Uh, we upload it to Exocat or to Tree Shape, and again, this should be a video, but there is no video. Don't know why, but we have what we have. And after we uh, take these bytes, these stamps, we upload it uh, to the Exocat. If you have tree shape, in tree shape. If you work in digital, okay, of course. But I think in Egypt there is a there is dental technician who works with Exocat, right? Yeah. 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 And we see we um, align systems with our situation which we have in articulator and we see that from the left side there is a space so the occlusion is wrong but what we should do to send this case to the dentist and well there is a big chance that dentist will give us the same situation as he gave us at first time but now we have the bite with these temps yes yeah? so we just move it in exocat and we change the bite in digital way. After that, okay, you you don't believe me, but there is a nice video, <laughs> the best one. <laughs> yeah. So this is how we work. Yeah, we make a digital smile design, and we just upload our situation from the exocat, from the temps, and from the copings which we did to exo, and we try to align. Yeah, not like by hands, about some points, like temps with a gingiva, gingiva um, uh, after that with uh, some bread prep, virtual prep, yeah, virtual, something like that. And we're trying to remove it to our physical situation, and our uh, manual situation. Guys, just tell me if you follow me, because I know this is some kind of uh, technician stuff. And uh, like, I just could skip it, you know, a bit. So now we get that our analog situation in articulator, in our hands, is the same mm -hmm. as in the digital way. So we just, you know, align the analog with the face of our patient. We did our crown, so we changed bite on the right one with the temps. We did our coppings in digital way, and we sent it to the milling center. But after that, when the, from the milling center, these crowns come, what we should do? Because in hands, still, we have the previous situation. We fix it, but we fix it in digital. Now we have mm -hmm. to fix it in analog. So what we are doing, again, in Exocat, we're doing some, um, how to say it, like, like occlusion, yeah, with a strong plastic, without any compressions and blah, blah, blah. We print on a 3D printer. Yeah. And again, there is a video, could be. Yeah. And that's what we get. Okay. Mm -hmm. After that, we could do a new articulation. 
and from the left it was before and on the right it was after so if you can see the situation goes like that it was like that and it goes yeah. like that and a bit like that and this is a big difference if i would follow by the first time which dentist gave me and made my crowns yeah put my heart and time and money in this and after that we realize that in the mouse it sucks yeah sorry for my english but now we have fixed it and now we should proceed this is what we get from our milling center that's how it looks now um, actually we are trying here to save our occlusion to make it like full contour we just um, make a build up on the Dr. Omnia, how to call it? <laughs> this part, not hey, buccal. Until you, until you bark, or buccal yeah. bark. Yeah, yeah, you see it on a picture. <laughs> okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. And again, we're trying to align. We have to be sure that this, our horizont, vertical, yeah, it's the same as in, it's on the picture. Mm -hmm. And it's quite the same. Maybe it's not perfect because it's hard to make a perfect photo, you know, straight from the articulator and move on it to the digital photo, to the photo. What is the next step when we deal, deal with occlusion? The next step is the individual model. Um, I told you before that we will touch this topic, so now we will touch. Now we're touching this topic and uh, what you see now is the wax model which is close to the patient mouse why we need it so basically this wax model nice presentation thank you so much dr ahmed i hope you're a doctor if not i apologize um so this model need not only for anteriors or not only for single restoration it needs more from the to the total cases because you have your dental technician in his hand have very close situation to the mouse with the color so he could check the white and pink aesthetic yeah i think i name it right <laughs> and uh, how it works so there is the same crown on the left and on the right but as you can see from the left i took a picture uh, on the standard model yeah so let's say my dentist told me please michael make a a2 and i did the a2 i check it on a model or in my hands with a shade guide and okay it's a2 but after that he put this this crown into the mouse and it looks like c4 but why on the model, it looks like A2. As you can see on the right part, I imitate the stumps of the patient, which was black, and the gingiva. Yeah, gingiva. And when I put it, make a photo, and I realize that this is not A2, this is C4. And the same it will be in the mouse. So this is the purpose of these models, individual models. And believe me, these models, it's like two hours made. Yeah, it's not like something that you are doing all day, all night, you know, it's like just enough to have your impression and some wax with wax electrics, it's all. And the beautiful model, okay. Okay, okay. so let's move on. And after that, when you make a model, you put your copings on this model with the black stamps or not black stamps whatever you see that okay it's quite fine yeah it's covered my uh dark stamps but we check it when we have the dry copings what we have when we have a wet copings wet copings i mean with some liquid inside yeah which imitate uh, saliva and uh, cement no. 
Yeah, and this is a different. The same popping on the same model, but from the left it's dry and from the right it's wet. Yeah, so this is the really important part to don't forget mm, make wet your crowns, your coppings, coppings, crowns, whatever. Means when you make a build up or when you make your staining, if it's full contour, it still needed mm, some liquid inside because we work with a different thickness. Yeah, and it's it's quite important and it's illustrated in this picture. On the top, I simulate, I imitate the stumps of the patient with uh, gingiva. And as you can see, it's quite nice. The, the, the shade is quite nice. A patient have probably A1 or maybe A2 maximum. And uh, there is no like uh, dark stumps or something like that. So we made our coppings and let's say the finish color should be bleach. And we made our crowns from the bleach ingot, or we milled our crowns from the something bleach. We put it on the model and it looks bleach. Yeah, so our patient will have bleach. But let's see here. The same popping, the same picture, but, but left side looks white and the right side looks gray. What is the difference between them? One side is dry and the second side is wet inside. So when patient asks you, please doctor, make me something white. And you're doing on your model something white, but in the mouse it looks like C1. So which is not unacceptable, uh, acceptable, yeah? It's not acceptable, it's unacceptable, <laughs> okay. Um, and on this step, dental technician would see if he is wrong he will do something with that he will repeat it he will do it again he will put some states or whatever he wants to put but he will see and he will never send this c1 to your dental office to your patient so this is the purpose of these models and i think it's good yeah and the main idea is how you imitate these models it doesn't have to be like 100 percent as a mouse no but if it will be like let's say 60 percent or maybe 70 percent of needed shade well it will be great as you can see on a photo so left side is mouse and the right side is model the difference yes there is a difference a big difference but it's quite close i imitate blacks black stumps so when i put my crowns I will see the difference between these stumps. Yeah, and I can do something with that. Can you do it with gypsum? No, you can. And this model, it's not for build up or staining or checking the occlusion or checking the contact points. No, this is only for shade. Usually we just make a glazing staining on this model and that's it. And it looks really nice and how to say it, presentable, right? It's nice to have something, something like that in your hands. So this is how it looks like in our lower jaw, on the upper jaw. And we did our build up and this is how it looks like in the mouse. Uh, sorry, it's without uh, gingiva. There is a problem. There is a problem. I will show you now. Yeah. As you can see, the the left uh, lateral is um, uh, a bit, maybe not a bit, it's dark, yeah, in the margin line. Mm, but still, you know, like, uh, I can do nothing be better here. So dentist knew it, I knew it. Patient knew it and patient was happy with that result. That's why we just cemented it. So it's like, you know, it's not about to show you, like, look at me, look what I can. It's about we, all of us have mistakes. We do it every day. I do every day many, many, many mistakes. But the most important things is to learn on your mistakes and to be a better tomorrow than you are today. Yeah, I hope I translate it, <laughs> translate it right. This is the lower jaw, how it looks like in the mouse. 
Okay, some artistic photos from the, from our dentist. You can see there is a small opalescence on the central. Beautiful. And that's how our patient looks initially, his situation. He looks like, oh, I will kill you or something like that. And that's how he looks now. He looks like Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, so it's like change. And the idea of this case, we don't do any trains. We don't do any like extra invitation of the patient to, yes, there is a long, long way of this patient. First of all, he uh, put, you know, some, how to say it, splint, yeah? You call it splint, I guess. Splint therapy. So it's around three months after that temps after that second temps and only after that we made a ceramic but we did it like from the first time and it's not by luck well yeah there is luck of course but initially it was you know we're trying to work predictable predictable and again we did this work with our dentist dima kavalchuk so this is that was the most part of the lecture which i want to show you which i'm going to share with you okay with our uh we have four people yeah on the stream yeah actually six you and me hmm. oh my god it's, oh, it's, it's with us more here. or less yeah, yeah it's fine so, guys, and uh, I'm just going to show you some cases which we've done with these uh, two approaches, yeah, like shape taking yeah. and this occlusion. How yeah. we do it with uh, Olga, it's her initial situation. We just follow by refractory. We... So this is... Huh? Okay. Yeah. Um, we don't do any preparations here, so we did just four centrals, very thin like that it was like around 0 0.1 millimeters or something like that okay that was a vox up digital vox up and after that we translated to our refractory as you can see here and this is how it looks in the patient mouse again from the first time but the idea not like from the first time that there was no problem because we know what we are doing this is uh, how it looks like after, I guess, two weeks after cementation. The patient before and after. This is my lovely case. Just don't know why, but it's, you know, just four veneers change her life. And it's beautiful, I think. And again, Vladislav. So this is his initial situation. Also, we did here uh, four centrals, uh, not that uh, minimal invasive, but some of them minimal, some of them more, it's some dental technician stuff. And this is uh, how we cover the, so I did the digital training of the stump to, you know, align this dark stump with the normal stumps with the color and after that I just go in the normal way okie dokie that's how it looks like on the model and that's how it looks in the mouse this is after two weeks after cementation and this is a guy and again just to show you the right approach okay it's it's not like right approach that you should follow this is approach which is work with me with my dentist it doesn't mean that it will work with you but if you took something like around five person from this presentation i'll be the happiest guy in the world honestly this is violet okay oh thank you Ahmed. thank you thank you so much it's not only my job, it's, uh, it's like around uh, five, six people team. Violet, the same, four centrals. We change their smile with only four centrals because there is no occlusion problems. 
there is no aesthetic problems at least except these four centrals and the game the result after I don't know two four weeks gingiva looks nice to me the other side you know probably you cannot make big money on these small cases yeah but you know we're trying to treat our patient as we would try how to say it <laughs> treat ourselves yeah so and i don't know yeah. it works uh, by the way this violet it's not only yeah sorry i confused a bit uh, we did uh, a bit, not total case, but complex case. Uh, we did like four centrals and we just fixed a bit her occlusion with, uh, again, refractory uh, on lace. On lace from the refractory, right? Why from the refractory? Because refractory is a really, really soft material. So if something is not good with, uh, you know, occlusion, it will you know, adjust, it's adjustable by own teeth. That's how it looks like on the model and in the mouse. Yep. Two centrals, okay. And I'm just gonna go into finish. The last case is two centrals. Uh, the woman come with this situation in oral case. Yeah, this is the power of team for that's right. There is no like you know um, only one person. There is always the team, dentist, dental technician, and I just made the final result. Yeah, but for behind me there is a lots of people who make some treatment maybe orthodontic or prosthetic or whatever, you know. And also someone make a gypsum and so on. So this is our case. Uh, we did two centrals here. I will not go deep to show what I've done with uh, which poppings, which salmon, blah, blah. We just did this case. Yeah, and this is uh, what we get from our dentist. He cemented, I deliver it to the clinic and he cement this crown and just send me the pictures. Two centrals, uh, there is no, not big space for this case, but still looks not bad. It's, it doesn't look like perfect, but it looks not bad. And this picture I put on a Facebook like maybe two maybe three or even four years ago uh, but to say the truth it was a lie why lie well it looks like that but could you tell me what is wrong here now okay it's it's a long story well the, the problem in this picture is that you don't see gingiva here yeah. and the gingiva influence a lot a lot a lot a lot and this is a real situation this is not like you know on, on that time i was like no i will never show this picture on a facebook because i'm a perfect guy i just do have beautiful cases so on so on so on but you know now like yeah come on yeah we all do our best and sometimes you know we're trying to do best but it doesn't look the best for patient or for us or for our expectation on these pictures it looks much you know better with the like better better with the gingiva but the question is why dentist cement it because patient love it yeah and what could i do better in this case maybe change uh copying no maybe change the ceramic also no the, the, this view is because of gingiva, because it's violet, yeah, and probably dentist proposed to patient like to make some plastic, maybe implants, maybe to burn again, I don't know. But the patient is happy. Why she is happy? Well, you saw the first picture. It was a disaster. And now she has something white and her smile, fine, you know, like she smile. It's like that. 
So she's happy, I'm happy, dentist happy. It's not the case of Facebook, yeah, but it's case what we are doing every day. It's it will never gonna be like you know every day the best case, the best case, the best case. Sometimes it's failure, sometimes it's you know it's mistakes and learning on these mistakes. Something like that. Uh, philosophy, but not it. Oh, I have 12 p.m. Yeah. Okay, Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I wasn't uh, too much boring today. No, 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 no. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. If you have a question, I'm here to answer these questions. Um, Again, no, I apologize I for my English. I lose my practice, so it's like half a year I don't speak English. <laughs> no, very good. If anyone has any question, I will write in the comments. Any question, I will write in the So the live will be saved on the page and also will be uploaded to the YouTube. Channel, so whenever you other audience want to listen to us again, any question? I said. Okay, anyhow, guys, thank you so much. Uh, people who participate, people who just listen. Um, it was nice, you know, it's like uh, nostalgia, yeah, to return to Egypt, at least digitally <laughs> return, but still I enjoyed. I enjoyed. For us, we all very enjoyed to seeing you, it's very, very useful useful uh, lecture uh, thank you so much michael thank you okay thank, thank you, you so for much your effort. Well, and, and we are sorry for keeping you up until the to this hour i know it's late in ukraine uh, it's about 12 right yeah it's 12 it's 12. Uh, so, uh, sorry it's very late uh, it's very late there and i know we are facing more or something uh, thank you uh, so much uh, for uh, having us and thank you for your lecture and uh, it's very very nice to meet you and uh, listen to your lecture uh, and uh, <laughs> the uh, honor is all mine the honor <laughs> is all right i'm very honored to uh, be invited uh, on this event and well yeah it was it was good it was good i like it i enjoy it thank you so much we we, uh, we also have an, uh, a very great time uh, and a very great lecture uh, thank you for your time and hopefully you will come and visit Egypt very very soon and thank you so much and salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and inshallah bi idnillah Live Tani and so Allah you will go now. Uh, Gaya, uh, uh, Salam Aikum, good boy. And, uh...